A Russian woman accused of being a spy has won her legal battle against deportation from Britain. Katerina Zatuli Vetter was accused of trying to siphon information while having an affair with a British member of parliament she was working for. RT's Ivor Bennett's been following the case in London. He joins us live with more Ivor. So the ruling must be a great relief for Ms. Zatuli Vetter. Tell us more about all of this. Well, you could certainly see the relief on her face after she was told that she would not be deported and she can indeed stay in the UK after all. Uh, the court and panel of three judges, including a former head of the British Security Service, uh, ruled that on balance of probabilities she was not and is not a Russian spy. But it's not certainly not been easy for her to reach this point. She was arrested 12 months ago, back in December last year, um, on suspicion of being a spy. And since then, according to her lawyers, she's been living a Kafka-esque nightmare. Uh, she's been living under very strict bail conditions. The Home Secretary after her arrest a year ago said that she should be deported. She was given the chance to contest that um, uh, that, that ruling uh, at, at, a, at a hearing um, that ended last month. Um, but during that those whole proceedings she was never actually allowed to see or hear the evidence against her that the MI5 said it had. Uh, the MI5 Britain Security Service said it was too, too sensitive in terms of national security for it to be made public. And so uh, if there was any evidence against her, we will, of course, never actually know what it was uh, at all. But the Home, Home Office has actually already come out and said in reaction to this ruling that it stands by its original uh, accusations that Katia Zatilvieta was indeed a spy and should be deported. Uh, but given the fact that this, these claims have been rejected by the court today, uh, according to Katia Zatilvieta's lawyers, the MI5 case against her was indeed uh, based more on speculation than fact. Their case was built entirely on speculation, prejudice and conjecture. It was amateur, poorly researched. We hope that the government will reflect very carefully on today's judgment, which must raise serious concerns as to the standards of professionalism and competency within the security service. What was the prosecution's case for her deportation? Well, their, their main point was that she was, she was accused of being uh, used as a honey trap by the Russian intelligence services, tapped up from her time in St. Petersburg, where she studied international relationship, uh, relations and, 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 and specifically targeted a mem British member of parliament in order to gain access to top secret documents. Now, the man in question was Mike Hancock, a member of parliament and also he, who had a seat on the parliamentary select committee for defence and also Russia. So he had access um, to some top level uh, documents um, we do know also that they had an affair for four years and also we do know that she was working for him as his researcher in Parliament, so potentially had access to these documents. But that's about all we know. And so in terms of concrete proof and concrete evidence uh, to suggest the, what she was indeed a spy, that's about all we heard. As I said, um, the rest of the evidence, if there was any the MI5 had, was given behind closed doors because it was deemed too sensitive. So, the case, so her defence, the bulk of it throughout the hearing was to try and um, show that her relationship with Mike Hancock was indeed a genuine one, even though he was three times her age. And actually, the court in its ruling um, did actually say that uh, it decided that it, her relationship with him was enduring and genuine on both sides. And that help, helped it to reach its, its final ruling to find that she probably wasn't, on balance, a Russian spy. And, and, and of course, those three judges who did hear the, the, the evidence behind closed doors, they also said that um, we have seen nothing which satisfies us that she was recruited as an agent or was tasked or acted as one and, and apparently and they say that this was not uh, reached by a narrow margin so they're so they're very much convinced on balance that she wasn't a spy and therefore has been allowed to remain in Britain and will not be deported. All right RT's Ivor Bennett live for us in London thanks for that update.